Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about, well, I've been doing therapy. So, this hasn't been the first time I've been to therapy because at, um, at first I started therapy when I was a freshman in high school, but it didn't last long since I've only been to that, that therapist for at least um, several months. And then I stopped going to that therapist. And so my mom said I needed to go to therapy again. So I went to a new therapist and uh, she is the sweetest therapist I've ever met in my whole entire life. And I told her about myself and why I'm in therapy because I have a lot of anxiety and stress and fears and there are times I do get depressed at times, but it's not as bad. I don't get it as often as I used to, but there are times I do get upset. And um, I also have a hard time struggling on doing things on my own because, well, I am an adult and I'm trying to at least do things on my own and it can be tough. So I um, saw that therapist and she was sweet. And um, I just went to... Um, my first therapy, um, therapy session with her on the beginning of July and it was really good I told her about myself like I said and um, recently I went to her um, to another therapy session with her um, on Monday which was a few several days ago so more recent and um, again I started talking to her and um, she told me that I need um, that I need to focus on building confidence in myself and learn how to do things on my own, and that's what I've been at least trying to focus on. Because when it comes to me being confident, uh, that's not me. That doesn't sound like me at all. I'm like one of the most nervous people that you'll ever meet. And when it comes to talking to people in person, it can be a little awkward times because sometimes when I talk to people I don't make any sense like when I try to talk to someone like whatever comes out of my mouth it doesn't make any sense and my little brother corrects me too because even if I talk to my little brother he corrects me and knows that I'm not making any sense and um, he's not being rude to me in any sort of way possible but still at least uh, I know he's correcting me because when I mess up, I mess up and he lets me know, so. Which isn't so bad because everybody messes up from time to time and that, that includes me. I mess up more than half the time. I still hate that. And when it comes to doing things on my own, oh my God, I never realized how much of a struggle that was. Just a few, just several weeks ago, I just learned how to tie my shoes. And please don't laugh when I say this. Like, I get it. I'm 18 years old and I should know how to tie my shoes. But I just learned how to tie my shoes. And beg me when I say this. It was a pain in the ass to tie my own shoes. Like, it was easy to, like, do the first little, um little ties around the um little ties around the um laces it's easy to do the the first bunny ear but the second bunny ear was the hardest part of tying a shoe <laughs> like everybody ties their own shoe in different ways but the my older brother taught me how to tie my shoes and that took a long time i even started to cry while i was in the middle of trying to tie my shoes now, please don't laugh when I say this. Come on, I'm being serious. Like, I started bawling my eyes out trying to tie my own freaking shoes. And um, I was able to get it down after several, several tries, but I still need to practice. And um, the next thing I need to learn how to do on my own is probably cook. Thing is, when it comes to cooking, I'm, I'm so nervous even trying to do something productive in the kitchen because I don't want to cause any for, like any kitchen inferno or anything like that because that stuff does happen kitchen infernos things exploding and bursting into flames 
everything turned into crispy black charred up mess it's just ridiculous but in the end I'll get through it and hopefully I'll learn how to do things on my own and build up my confidence because when it comes to me being confident it's hard because I'm emotionally sensitive and even if I try to do the simplest thing by myself I start to cry and break down in tears now I get it everybody's different nobody cries at the simplest of things but take it from me if you were in my shoes then you'll understand how I feel but then again everybody's different everybody does things in their own way and I can't hardly blame them and I can't blame any of you guys who are watching my video at this point so I'm still going to be taking therapy and um I'll enjoy every last minute of this ther of these therapy sessions I'll take because at this moment I'm going to live my life to the fullest even if some things will stop me I'll try my best to you know hold my uh, like hold my ground and you know stay strong at least because there's so many people who admire me the people I know that admire me so much and care about me and I really, I'm really thankful for all of those people who watch my videos, who know who I am, and, you know, thankful for everything they've done for me and everything like that. And I'll continue to push forward and hopefully gain subscribers, maybe get some money from YouTube. But first, I'm going to um, get a part-time job before I consider YouTube as a full-time job because... I am not going to gain thousands of subscribers immediately from this video, and if I do, then good for me. Good for me. If I get a thousand, like, f um, views on this video, good for me, man. Good for me. Wow. Just great. I would be the luckiest person alive, but that's not how views work. Like, like the views I get are very irrelevant to this channel, but... By the time I start gaining subscribers, there's going to be a lot of people who who will recognize me and understand me a bit more, and that's good. Because there, I know there's good people out there on the internet. Behind all those trolls on the internet and all those cyber bullies, there are nice people out there. And I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you who is hiding in the back of the corner and being all scared and stuff. I know you should you shouldn't be scared. Of the internet because the internet isn't that's well it can be scary for most people but in my case it's not that scary I'm not afraid of internet trolls anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me talking about my therapy sessions and um, I'll uh, like comment share subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you guys in the next video peace